Hello friends, this is Rupesh and watching CVB Learn's video series on algorithm and this video is about binary search. So you might have noticed that there are not so many algorithms to actually do searching. There are so many algorithms for sorting but not for the searching. So the basic one is the linear search, meaning you have some sort of data and you will start searching from one end and you will reach till the end. And if you find something, it is good, otherwise it is not found. But what is this binary search? And there is something called ternary search. So that is also a subset of this searching. So we can see that in another video, but here we'll see binary search. So the first point is binary search technique works on sorted array. And both sorted and array words are very important. Meaning you cannot have binary search if you're data is not sorted and if your data is not directly accessible meaning you cannot use linked list in order to have a binary search because in linked list you if you want to go to this node you have to actually traverse and reach then there is always some amount of complexity to reach this one and why I'm saying that you want to directly come to this one, you will get to know that when we'll talk about this one. So yeah, you understood you cannot use linked list. You have to have some data structure which will give you direct access and the array is that one. So if you have a R R of maybe five, it will directly jump to that location. Correct. So we need array or vector. It's okay. Something which can directly jump to that location without actually traversing hop by hop. And another point is sorted. So these two things are very important. Always keep this in your mind. You will never forget this binary search. Okay. So the first point is done. Now the second point is it works on divide and concur. Each iteration, it divides array into half. For that, I need an array here. So let's suppose this is your array here. So the second line is saying that it divides your array or it uses a divide and concur strategy to achieve binary search. What is that? The point is you already know how big your array is. So if it is zero, then this is going to be your seven. So you have total eight elements in your array. Not necessarily that it will be one, two, three, four. It can be anything, but the point is it should be sorted. Okay. Now you know how many elements are there. What you will do, this is the algo. I'll, I'll explain that algo a little later, but in order to understand this point, what I'm going to tell you is you will directly jump to the half of this array meaning somewhere here. So let's suppose you are reaching to this one because this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So if you'll do half, then you can either go here or here. So you're reaching here. Now the point is, let's suppose you are searching maybe, I don't know, maybe some number X. Then after reaching here, you have reached to this location and you will check whether this particular number is equal to that X, what you're looking for. If it is not, then you know what? Your array is sorted. And if your X is less than the current element you are standing at, meaning you have to go to the left side because what X you are looking, that X is less than four. So all the less than four elements are lying in the left hand side. And if it is greater than four, you will go to the right hand side. So did you see that after one comparison, this is the first comparison, you divided your whole array into half. Now you know what? You have only this much left. Your half is already gone from the comparison. Now you will jump to half of this one. How you will do that? Seven plus four. Yeah. Before how did you reach here? Zero plus seven divided by two. This is going to be your 3.5. So either you can take four or you can take three because your indexing doesn't work in this floating point numbers. Okay. So I took three, you this time see four plus seven divided by two would be 5.5. And then I will take five. So five meaning this one, and I'll do the same thing again because we'll do this in a loop or recursion. So it will be doing the same thing again and again. So let's suppose you were searching five, not X. Now we know the number five, then you will see that, okay, five is equal to six. No, 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 it is not. Then you know, you have to go to left hand side. 
but you know that your boundary is this much only and your left is 4 and your current is 5 so 4 plus 5 divided by 2 here it will be 4.5 so I'll take 4 so I will reach here in next jump so this was your first jump this is your second jump and this is your third jump and after reaching here you will see that okay 5 is equal to 5 yes dude I found it and let's suppose this was not 5 maybe you were something you were searching something else and you did not found it meaning you are standing here and can you see that your boundary was this much like 4 and 5 and you ended up here and then you don't have anywhere else to go so you are actually done and you know that okay I cannot find anything else and you know that you will not find that number in the array so how many comparisons it took this first one this is second one and third one that's why the complexity is log base 2 n so if n is uh, let's suppose 8 here then the formula would be log n sorry not n log 2 8 and this you can convert into log 2 2 to the power 3 so you know that this will get converted into log 2 divided by log 2 and that 3 will come here meaning you have the answer 3 because this and this will get nullified so you have the answer 3 so can you see that we have only three comparison first one second one and third one so that's why this is the formula and why 2 in the base because you are dividing your search space in two part okay because after one search you are sure that whether I will go into left or right so if you are doing that you are always leaving half of that so that's why it is 2 if it is 3 meaning you are dividing your whole search space into three different spaces it will be 3 then okay so whatever you have understood let's go and see if it is doing the same thing so algo is get middle element of array check if it is the one we are looking for so we reach to the min middle in first case let me change the color here yeah so in first case we reach here and we found that this is not the number we are looking for because as I said we were looking for 5 and 4 was less than that so we know that we can find 5 after 4 not before 4 okay so this line is done if yes then we have found the number but in our case it was not yes if no then check if the middle element is bigger than our element in our case it was not and if it is bigger see if it is bigger then we will choose the left half but it in our case it was not bigger so otherwise we will choose the right half of the array so that's what we did we moved right okay and this became the boundary for us and then we chose the middle one which happened to be sixth okay and how you will calculate the middle one Le left boundary and the right boundary you will add it divided by two you have the middle one and simply repeat this until we found the number or we don't get it okay I just forgot to write that you will keep on repeating until unless you don't have anywhere to go or you find the number it's that simple let me show you the code here oh yeah before going for the code let's look at the complexity I have already explained the complexity is log base 2 n and how it is working I have explained that best case time complexity is order of 1 and the average case time complexity is same as worst case complexity but don't worry if someone asks you what is the complexity for binary search you will always tell log n this is the standard stuff and if they ask you what is the base you can tell 2 and why 2 because in every iteration you divide your whole search space in half so you always neglect other half so you are neglecting the other half that's why half meaning divided by 2 it's just that simple okay so let's move to the program and try to understand how you write it hey guys it's time for a quick pause and what you're seeing right now is my patreon page so if you don't know what is patreon it's a crowdfunding website where you can support any content creator like me and in return you get rewards so 
if you join me i can be your private tutor or you just want to chat with me and ask your doubts or maybe you just want to support me with very small amount and i'll still have something for you so do visit my patreon page and see if you like it and if you want to discontinue anytime you can do that so if you have already visited my patreon page let's continue our video now so this is the program here. You can see that we have this array and 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. These values are sorted. 4 is missing, 6 is missing. So don't worry. If array is not sorted, you can sort it before actually uh, applying the sorting algorithm. Sorry, searching algorithm. So you always have to sort it before applying the binary search. Okay, so I have this sorted one. Now let's search this binary search. So this is the algorithm. This is an iterative approach. I will explain the recursive approach also. Don't worry about that. So see, it is very simple. We have array and the lower bound is like low and upper bound because we have, oh my God, I have less one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it is going to be seven. Let me do that. This is seven here and this is seven, sorry. Yeah, so upper bound is seven because total eight elements are there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah, eight. So zero to seven. Now this two is what we are looking for. And in case of six, it will return minus one. Otherwise it will return the number we are looking for. Okay, let me just quickly run this. Compile successfully. If I'll execute this, see it is giving one and then minus one. Let me change this a bit. It will give you more insight about it and let's compile this and execute this see in first case is it is saying one meaning we have found this two but it is at index one but six we did not found that's why we are sending minus one because there is no minus one index in the array so you know to denote that not found we are saying that minus one okay so let's understand this how it is working see we are already saying that low and high so low and high are reaching here and the key we are looking for so two we are searching so this is key and now look at this while loop this is very important loop you have to understand this what is happening here we are saying that lower should be less than or equal to the higher then only we will search otherwise we will assume that we have already searched everything this is the convention because your lower should be actually lower and your higher should be higher than the lower. Then only actually you are at correct scenario. Otherwise, if you your lower is greater than higher and your higher becomes lower than lower, meaning they are crossing each other. Let me show you. This is what we are doing, right? So in first case, your lower was zero and your higher was seven. So what we did zero plus seven, we got three and then we reached here. Now we are standing at this location and we find that this five will get here. So your lower become three now and then your higher is still seven. So can you see this? If we will do another iteration, so your lower will become this one and your higher will become this one. That's why we did four plus five divided by two. So four was the answer. So we reached four and we found that, okay, five do exist. So your lower is actually increasing, you know, see from zero to it became three, then three to it became four, but your higher, it was initially seven, but it became five. So can you see this? If this array was very big, no, then you would have realized that this seven is decreasing and this zero is increasing. So your lower is actually increasing and your high is actually decreasing. So there is always a scenario where they will cross each other and if they cross each other meaning you don't have anything to search for so this is the convention so considering that is true our lower is actually zero and our higher is seven in initial phase so zero is less than or equal to seven it is true zero plus seven divided by two this will become integer mean, meaning it is coming as three here so array of three is less than key because key is currently two so array of mid, which is maybe this one, is this less than our key? No, it is not. Then we'll go to another else and we'll see that, okay, is this greater than key? If it is, which is true because seven is actually greater than two. So we will do that higher is equal to mid minus one. So we have new higher now. So your middle was this one 
and now you are saying that your lower will be this one only but your higher is 5 now so now you have this much only to search notice this it is very simple we calculated the mid which happened to be 7 for our case or maybe 5 doesn't matter but either of these two because they are even number so either you have to take 3 or 4 so considering if I am taking 4 then higher is mid minus 1 mid means this location minus 1 so your new higher is this one so now you are again calling yourself by saying that lower is again 0 because this is 0 and higher is new higher meaning this is 3 now so 0 and 3 and this will keep on working until unless you actually find this 2 or you happen to cross this low and high and this will get false and you will come back and if this is breaking and this else is not hitting meaning you are returning minus 1 and if this else is hitting meaning you have found the index and now let's look at the recursive way of doing it it is not that hard let me change a bit So this is how your recursion will work. If I'm not doing anything wrong here, let me just recheck this again. So if lower is actually crossing the higher, then you will return and say that, okay, I have not found it. If this is not the case, then you will do that traditional surf. You will find the middle one and you will check whether it is the actual value. If you have found the value, you will return the index of that value. If that is not the case, then you have to recall yourself with the updated lower case. If you find that key is actually bigger than your array mid location what you have found if this is bigger meaning you have to go into the right side so your lower bound will change your lower bound will become mid plus one because you have already checked the mid one so you will start with mid plus one and if that is not the case then this is going to be the case meaning you have to look into the left hand side of the array so let me just quickly do this and compile and see if this program is working let me compile again and the execution and yes it is working see it is saying that i have found it let me do some other thing like uh, what if i'm searching 10 then it should give 7 here right it's 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 yeah so let's compile this and execute this see we are getting 7 here so meaning it is working so it's always very simple that what you have to do is first you have to convert your array because you have to have array or something which will actually give you the direct accessing because you have to calculate the mid one and you have to directly jump to that location. So you need array based data structure and you need to have that array sorted in order to compare your values because if you're searching something and you've reached here as this is your middle and now you have to take the decision whether you are going to go to the left hand side or you are going to go to the right hand side and that is possible when you have these things sorted then only you can say that okay my key is 2 and I am at 4 meaning I have to go to left hand side because 2 is less than 4 it was not that hard right so yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next videos and for more videos like this you can follow this channel thanks here bye bye